various questions, or they'll have questions about the material we're covering. And uh, that's, that's been great. I usually have what I call a full office hours, where I'll basically go, in, go into my computer from a time from Sunday at 5 to Sunday at 8. Because sometimes they're, that's pretty the best time I have my students. Because sometimes they work, they come back from work, and they want to they connect. I also have them do a little sheet which tells me the times they're available. And a lot of times I'll try and fit my time into my students. And so we'll, we'll have chat and talk discussions. What we'll do with, with, in terms of quizzes, though, there's a little uh, area where you can block off the quiz where a student can't get into it until that time starts. And so they can't, they can't cheat. The coach is there. They're, they, they're moderating it. They're, they're, they're basically setting this aside. And then they're taking the test. And so that's something that we do as well and so that to prevent that. Um, I, I've been really pleased with, with how my, I can tell right away with certain questions that do a breakdown of the test. I can see where strengths they have, what weaknesses they have right away in the test. Uh, we do what we call pre response. I don't want to take too much time. Thank you. I, I get excited about this stuff. So I'm sorry. <laughs> question. Here. I'm, I'm struggling to understand the logistics here. You're a teacher, right? Right. And so we have, what, four, four blocks a day. Right. You're going into school and you have your four blocks and you're teaching every day. Yeah. How, where does this fit in? Is somebody, are these students sitting somewhere on a computer doing this on their own? Yes. You're, you're not online with them, right? I'm not online with them, no. You may or may not ever be online with them. Well, usually I have because they have to be there for office hours. They have to meet with me once a week. So you have to set up these office hours. Yes. And you do that evenings and weekends. Yes. And, and there's okay. an additional um, stipend for them. So there's an initial stipend. Yes. Yeah. Are there standard start and stop dates? Do all the students taking AP government have to start around the same time? Mary Jo could probably handle that. I, I, we've, had, we've had situations, for the most part, all the students that I've had have had a start and a stop. I've not had someone come in. The only thing I can say that's close to that is that we had a student who had an illness who could not make it to school. And so as a result, uh, they went online. They were a student in my classroom, and then they went online. And that was probably the closest I could come to that. And then, because my this curriculum would be aligned with my AP curriculum, which is where I'm at, I would say, well, I look, I look at my website, I'd say, go to week five. And they would go to week five, and they could do that. So that probably be the closest that I can answer. Mary and Joe would probably have a better idea with other students with this. Well, then I've got a follow-up question. So in terms of developing this particular program, you did you developed this program. Yes. And that's part of your additional work of mm -hmm. developing the program in, con in conjunction with some other Jedi people, some other teachers. <clears throat> and when we have the workshops, I get input from other, other teachers. I have other teachers look at my website to say, you know, can you take a look at this and tell me what you think? Am I, am I connecting with my students? Is there something I'm missing within my presentation? Is there something that, that uh, I, I get ideas. I, I go to workshops, I go to all these different places and try and figure out different things that, that I can understand.